Okay, just a real quick um, explainer here how to use some of these assets I've provided for you for the animate our uh, high school logo assignment here. Um, the first thing that I'm providing for you is the actual seeking font or at least a close approximation of it. Um, so yeah, you have to install this on your computer and it could not be an easier process. So if we're looking in the assets folder, I'm going to double click on this file here. It's called Opti Althea Ball Bold 2. Um, yeah, so double click on this. This app down here called Fontbook will pop up and it gives you options here. Opti Althea Bold, it shows you what it looks like. Um, I guess there's nothing under this menu. But basically, you want to click Install Font. And beep boop bop boop bop. Let's see. One minor problem was found. OK, that's fine. We're going to just ignore these things. Um, select all the fonts. Click Install Checked. And there we go. Opti Althea Bold. Um, so that's how to get it into Fontbook. And then After Effects, even though I had it already running, I don't believe we have to restart the program. Um, I'm going to just type out Seekings, see if this works. So uh, to change the font, look under the Window menu, choose Character, um, and then you get this Character window here. I'm going to look under this. And uh, we're going to go alphabetical here. L M N O D Althea Bold. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. And I know in the logo they use a, um, it kind of looks italicized. You can kind of do this faux italic here by clicking on this button and it will shift it over like so. And you can begin animating it. Um, lastly, come down here and go back to the finder I provided these .ai files that have things like the seeking outline or the waves to put behind him um, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna drop this um, not Triton, Poseidon um, Poseidon into my composition so to do so I'm just gonna click and drag down here, let's see if we can add it. Um, I think it's in our project window, this project panel here, where all of our project assets are. Let go of it. It will add seeking.ai. You can see I've already done this. Um, and once you have it here, you can click and drag it and drop it into your composition, like so. Move them around. Uh, but really to animate it though, you have to do this little conversion. You have to convert this to a shape. Uh, so the last step here to use this AI file is to right click on it and choose create shapes from vector layer. Um, and that will work like a shape like how we're used to. And you can see down here in my layers, it has hidden the original seeking.ai. We no longer need this. I'll just select it and hit delete. And then you can go on animating it how you normally would. So enjoy.